Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus ammonium sulfide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. That's up here. I can see that I have a nitrate here. I have two of them and only one nitrate here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate. That balances the nitrates. I have two ammonium ions, but I have two of them here. So that's good. I have a sulfur and a sulfur and a zinc and a zinc. So everything's balanced. The molecular equation's balanced. Now we need to balance the net ionic equation. The first thing we'll do is we'll write the states for each substance. That looks like this. So nitrates, they're very soluble, and the ammonium ion, that's also very soluble. So these compounds are all soluble. That's why we wrote aqueous. But the zinc sulfide, sulfides in general are insoluble, except for something like ammonium sulfide. So the zinc sulfide, that's going to be insoluble. We're going to call that a solid. When these react, this will form a solid. That'll be our precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. And that'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And you see that we did not split apart the zinc sulfide. Everything else is split into its ions. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. In the reactants, I see I have two nitrate ions. In the products, I also have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, and we can just cross them out. We have two ammonium ions in the reactants, and again in the products, spectator ions, and we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus ammonium sulfide. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ZnNO3 2 plus NH4-2S. You'll note charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That adds up to 0. And over here, neutral compound, net charge of 0 as well. If you count the atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus ammonium sulfide. Thanks for watching.